Satnam, <coughs> this is Hari Ram Singh reporting from beautiful Lake Atitlan, Guatemala, the School of Nad. I want to share a quick podcast today. It's become a, a daily happening. Just love to share, I'm feeling a lot of inspiration, and I'm really enjoying the feedback from our students and followers. I wanted to speak a little bit about the soulmate journey. One of my favorite topics, especially since meeting mine um, two years ago. We, we came together in person almost, uh, almost two years ago. We were in contact before then. It's one of the gifts, one of the blessings of um, media, social media, the technologies that we were able to communicate, to share voice messages, music, and so on from long distance before meeting in person. That was really helpful and beneficial for a number of reasons. Um, of course, I'm speaking about Sat Kirtankar, who is the co-founder of the School of Nod and an uh, integral part of what we're offering now <coughs> together vis-a-vis -vis Soul Book here on Facebook, our Soul Book private group, and our Soul to Soulmate premium program. Um, I like to define those two entities as the inner circle represented by Soul Book, Connecting Soul to Soul, the full name of the private Facebook group. And then within Soul Book, the innermost circle, which is represented by Soul to Soulmate program. Welcome, Trent, dear brother. Um, and today I was writing an email on the subject of soulmates and uh, found myself writing about the magic and how dreams can come true, especially when we realize one of the most profound dreams in my book, in my heart, welcome Nicole, which is meeting our soulmate, or dare I say it, twin flame. For me, this is the, the epic story. If you think about it, all the best stories ever written, ever composed, and certainly now film being the most popular medium, have at their core a love story. And most often it's a love story between a man and a woman, soulmates. Sometimes it involves the children too course, beautiful, right? soul connections between mother and child, father and child, um, <coughs> which of course is born out of that divine union between husband and wife. And I was, while writing this email today, I, I found myself writing down these lines that when we do realize that profound, perhaps highest dream, fantasy, <laughs> whatever you call it, when it comes to fruition, when we realize that dream, then we start to believe anything is possible. And if you're like me, um, you may have already visualized yourself in your sacred partnership with your soulmate, your twin flame, creating a mission, co-creating a mission together here on earth that you both have a shared mission, as do Satkirtan and I. I held this vision for many years, maybe lifetimes. We don't know, right? Sometimes speaking to students and clients, I've had so many over the decades why I, I was just praying for this moment to come where I could offer this kind of support, hearing so many tragic stories, witnessing so many people being either alone, often alone, without a, a sacred partner, or, sometimes worse, being in a relationship that is stifling, stagnant, in which the passion has completely vanished. Welcome, Roxana. <laughs> which is worse? I don't know. I spent many years alone and I found myself sometimes 
entangled, if you will, in, in relationships that were not serving our highest purpose. So it can be tricky. Sometimes it, um, the way I describe it <laughs> to potential students and clients now with our programs is like finding a needle in a haystack. <laughs> can you relate? Finding your true soulmate, twin flame, if you will, is kind of like finding a needle in a haystack. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And thus, when, when that doesn't happen, because we, s we can see it all around, hopefully you're not one of these, the unlucky ones, um, the, the misery that goes with that and feeling of incompleteness, even when everything else is going well in your life. Yeah? Still that missing part, right? Someone with whom to, to share that journey, that, those successes, the failures and the successes. Um, conversely, when we don't have that sacred partner, we can start to doubt other aspects of our life. Am I really destined to succeed in my vocation? Or can I, can I have the ideal home, the ideal, live in my dream home and countryside, you know, whatever location you've envisioned? Yeah. For me, um, having been here at Atitlan before in Guatemala, it's very high on my list, and here we are. Um, <coughs> Sadkirt and I came here together. And it's interesting, worth pointing out, that um, had I decided to stay here previously, because it, it's, it's a kind of place, it's a vortex, it's a heart chakra vortex. Uh, it's a kind of place where one can stay and remain for years. Literally, you don't even have to leave the lake because <laughs> it's, a, it's another story. But um, <laughs> if I had made that choice, perhaps I would have never met my soulmate. Perhaps she would not never have found herself coming here alone. It's possible. You know what I'm saying? So my guidance, my internal guidance system, <laughs> my intuition guided me to leave here previously, um, so that I could, in retrospect, so I could bring my soulmate with me to Atitlan, where we are now, um, and having the most amazing, incredible time, just a short few months, things have shifted incredibly for both of us. <coughs> I feel like it's only the beginning, um, and thus, <laughs> as I say more and more, like, we want, <laughs> I'm speaking for both of us, we want everyone to know this kind of bliss and to know that dreams can come true, like the old Walt Disney line, yeah? Dreams do come true. And as I said, to realize a dream of this magnitude gives us hope, gives us belief that we can accomplish anything together and alone, right? Having a sacred partner doesn't mean that you have to do everything together. It's great when it, ha when it does work that way, but you can also support each other in your own individual pursuits and accomplishments. It's a huge win-win. Satnam, Satkirtankar. So, we're inviting you as always, like if you feel called, if, if, if what I'm saying resonates with you and you want to dive a little deeper, we are making ourselves available still for free breakthrough calls. We've had some incredible <laughs> calls recently. They're getting more powerful. Uh, people are having, literally having breakthroughs in one call with us. Um, and some of them continue to work with us. Uh, we're building a tribe, a community. So um, perhaps Sad Kirtan can put the link in before I do. <laughs> Schoolofnod.com slash apply. The calendar is there. Book your space, and uh, we'll talk for about an hour, and, and see how we can be of assistance. It is our highest, really, our highest mission, purpose to to serve in this way. So, Satnam, blessed be. Have a beautiful day on this uh, Sawan. <laughs>
and those different ways to pronounce it. The, when the, the veil is thinnest, tomorrow's the Day of the Dead. First, in Mexico and Guatemala, they celebrate two days, Dias, sorry, Dias de las Muertes, November 1st and 2nd. Powerful time. The Mayan calendar is aligned this year. Everything is in our favor to go deep, okay? <laughs> Blessings to all. Seth Kitchen said so beautifully. Much love.